Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jaws. Uh, we are in our new house, so. We're trying to find like a good place to shoot. This isn't the best, but that's yeah. okay. But anyways, um, we're back at it. Sorry, we had to take a couple weeks off. Uh, we have been overwhelmed, stressed, irritable, uh, which we're gonna talk about later in the episode. Um, but starting off with my sobriety date, 355 days. We are 10 days away from a year, which is uh, very exciting. Um, but Ash, let's just kick this thing back off and let's start into your follow-up for uh, your action for the week, actually two and a half weeks ago, which was to have more home-cooked meals because we were eating out a lot. Well, we still kind of eat out a lot because we've been so busy with moving, which is like the worst thing, the best and the worst at the same time. Um, but I did cook a lot of home cooked meals and I've been trying to implement going to the grocery store and just being home more because I just hate eating out. I really do. So, um, I feel so much better when I'm eating at home too. And so that's been my goal and I've been doing pretty good. Yeah, the last couple good. weeks besides moving and not having like things groceries and everything else i think for the most part we did really good i would concur um mine was to follow up with uh or be supportive to my mom and just like family in general as my grandma has is not doing well and to stay in touch with her um unfortunately she's just been so out of it that i haven't really been able to talk to her much my mom's talked to her a few times uh, but I feel like I've been very supportive uh, to my family and especially my mom um, regarding my grandma. And uh, all I can do is continue to pray for her and hopefully she gets better. Um, it's a crazy time that we're in and it makes it even harder because of COVID because we can't go see her or, you know, or spend time with her. Um, so it sucks. So anyways, uh, Ash, let's do our personal check-ins. Uh, how you doing? Where are you at? What's going on? Well, I think last week I cried like almost every single solitary day. So I've been a little overwhelmed. Um, Why don't you talk about that a little bit? Uh, well, I'm getting into it. Let me just finish, please. Um, <laughs> we sat down with our therapist and we talked about how uh, like big life events can bring up past um, trauma or past traumatic experiences that you've been through and so which I don't even know why that happens but any kind of big event could be a pandemic could be a job change could be a move could be any of those things that just makes your um system like shut down so then you're really vulnerable and then it brings up past experiences that may you may have been feeling that same way so I've just been kind of like an emotional roller coaster and um it's been really difficult because I've been wanting to be so grateful for um, the house and everything, but I've been really suffering like severe depression and I just, I don't know why I've been feeling so sad and depressed. I think it's just because I'm really used to sticking to like a structured schedule and since we've moved and everything's been up in the air and we're filming right now and it's been so busy that I don't have really a set structure and I'm really big on not like I like to plan out my days and it's really difficult when you're filming a reality show because your days change like within a 24 hours notice and I hate doing that. It's very stressful when people don't tell you your schedule until literally 12 hours before or the night before. I don't work like that. So <laughs> that is like trigger 101 when I don't have things set in stone and I don't know what's going on and I don't have all the information given to me ahead of time. It like sends off a trigger wire for me. So I'm trying to just be a little bit more adaptable and a little more go with the flow. Um, but I'm, it's been better than last week and tomorrow's Monday. So hopefully it'll be better this next week. And I did get to a meeting on Wednesday, which was really, really helpful. And I've been holding really close to my sponsor because of the fact that I've been having really bad depression and um yeah it sucks I don't like feeling like this I don't like feeling so low and down and um especially when there's all these really great things going on in my life I want to be able to celebrate them and really be in the moment but instead I'm like living in fear still and it's just not chill no that's I love that thank you that thank was you. very raw and real now I just to piggyback off what you're saying because we talk about you know trying to let go let God go with the flow and these last two weeks have been like probably the hardest on me ever. Like, I mean, I've, my sobriety has been 
solid, you know, and, and the, those things are going really well, but I think other areas of my character defects are coming up. You know, I'm super snappy, super, super short fused. Um, you know, and it's been, it's been challenging trying to manage, like I said, I don't want to, you know, say exactly what Ashley said, but we're feeling a lot of the same stressors, you know, not knowing your schedules, you know, trying to manage and, and operate your other careers and other businesses that you have and trying to be there for your child and just having some kind of structure, um, especially when you're moving. I'm, I, I think I've shared this in the past, but I have severe OCD. So, you know, especially coming home and when your house is not in order, uh, it is, it's just chaos. And, you know, just literally trying to find the simplest things around the house. And uh, we just haven't had the time because we've just been go, 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 go. Um, so I've been, Ashley's, Ashley's had to, on top of everything she's dealing with, has had to deal with me um, because I've, I've not been the most, what were you saying? Uh, like the nicest? No, something? like the most consistent this last couple of weeks. So I've been very <laughs> like, like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're like a roller coaster of emotions. You'd be like so angry <clears throat> and then you'd be like, oh, I love you so much, babe. I'm like, okay. I'm having like super God. gnarly mood swings, almost like bipolar episodes. Yeah, so. I'm like, okay, but hey, I'm, I'm aware of it. Um, <laughs> you know, and that's why I think we're even just kind of, we're beat, we're exhausted. Um, that's why we're filming this really late at night our daughter's upstairs sleeping because we've just been so tired so we know how much sorry I didn't mean to cut you off I gotta finish your statement. but we know how much you guys love Jaws and we love Jaws too and we don't want to cancel this series or anything we just needed a break for two weeks because we've been it's not even that we needed a break we just literally didn't have the time like yeah. I mean that was honestly it's just been like 12 14 hour days and like of just work and then after that's done we're trying to get home and like try to situate stuff get stuff moved in unpack boxes so anyways um but on the flip side it's like as she was saying we do have an, a lot of amazing things going on so it's like when we can pause and reflect and look at like how amazing our life is you know that we're healthy we got a, we got a beautiful new house you know delilah's in a really good place um, you know, there's a lot of things to be grateful for. So we, we do turn to that. Um, but that's, we're going to talk about, you know, stress and irritability. And I was just thinking, you know, maybe Ashley, you can share from your perspective on what it's like walking through it, uh, you know, watching me go through those motions and like, what did it, how much stress it actually causes you? I think just to share from your like perspective. Stressed? Yeah. Well, I think we're very like yin and yang and like we feel each other's emotions in a lot of ways, but it's so funny because we like to give each other like constructive criticism or we'll like tell the other person like you should just do these things and then we'll do the exact same thing. So it's hilarious because we're like the exact same person really. Um, we're not, but the way that we behave, we're upset about something and we don't communicate effectively like that's when like your blood's boiling and you're like in fight or flight mode, you know, me and you when we're like irritable and irritable and we're trying to communicate but we're not communicating and then all of a sudden it's like poof, yeah just like blows up and then we realize like why do we do that we could have just effectively communicated our feelings well yeah if it was that easy we would have done it but we're not like that far ahead yet so maybe eventually we'll get there well, um you bring up a really good point though is like it's it's been cool to see and like do this show because we've been able to go back and like see how much we've grown in areas but there's also areas where we you know sometimes we take a step back you know and but we identify with that and look at how we can do that because there's a lot of a lot of our stress and frustration really comes back down to communication it's just like simply so it's like we know that but when you're in the moment and you're in that like just like that rage mode it's it's best to just step away and like, go ahead we both have a big issue with like not asking for help when we get frustrated and irritated with each other we're like i can just do it myself like just leave me alone instead of just asking for the help so then we're resentful because the person's not helping us so then we're just angry at them but then we really did need their help in the first place but we don't want to let them know that so <laughs> yeah dude just so like ask like backwards make them feel bad about themselves even though they know that they should have just helped. It's just so funny. But that just shows how important it is to have a structure, to have routine because we are out of out of the loop and like we were thrown, you know, a curveball and we are dealing with it. And we can, I, I totally can identify now how important it is and, you know, why we need to, why we need to have that structure in place because, you know, this is, this is a good test. Um, 
and it, and it helps us be open and honest with you guys is like when we think things were going really good i was in the best place just a few weeks ago and it was just like this whole thing came uh crashing down with all this different pressures from you know the outside world and just trying to just feel some form of balance so Ferrero Rocher's. what <laughs> oh i crushed like 20 Ferrero Rocher's. i love those candies so anyways um yeah, so I think if, you know, just with stress and irritability, I mean, it's there's so many different forms and things that can cause that. But I mean, if you're going through it with somebody, I think the biggest thing is, again, is just keeping it simple in communication. You know, even jotting those things down, like what I ended up doing is I wrote down like the top, you know, five things that I needed to get done, top five things I wanted to communicate with Ashley that we need to get done at the house. And it's like when we were both in a place to talk, like, hey, can I talk to you this afternoon? You know, we sh I made myself clear that I wanted to talk to you and, and you made the time to do it and we were able to sit down and, and prioritize the things that we needed to get done. Um, and we should have done that in the beginning, but after, you know, 10 days of <laughs> going at each other's throats, uh, we, 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 it took us 10 days. So, uh, I'll give you like a week and a couple of days. That's what 10 days is, but a week and a couple of, <laughs> that's uh. nine days, but okay. Anyways, um, uh, Ash, what is your uh, action for the week? Oh my gosh. Um, I've been really good about staying on routine when it comes to, like waking up every morning, making breakfast, getting out of the house. But um, what I've been really bad about is like a nighttime routine. Like I've been going to bed with my makeup on. I've been so tired, which is disgusting. Like that is just not an adult <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> so I want to wash my face. I do face. that every night. <laughs> brush my teeth like I'm not lying like a few nights I didn't even brush my teeth because I was so tired I would just like fall asleep so gross so even those little simple things that are so important to me like take a glass of water up to bed like wash my face brush my teeth put my Invisalign in and go to sleep like those things are really important and when you know that those things are not getting done like I am I'm I'm in a grave. Like, it is bad. Like, I'm at my lowest low. I love that. Is, but were you eating all those breath mints at night thinking you were brushing your teeth? No. I <laughs> always, I love brushing my teeth before bed. But I I'm kidding. I think that that's good. Tired. I think it's good. It's so gross. Yeah, for me, um, one thing that has been really consistent, and it, I think is what's helped me through a lot of this, is I've been very um, on top of going to the gym, mm -hmm. um, like four or five times a week. And... Kind of going back to that 30 for 30, it's just, it's really kept me stable. I think it, it's been a very big crutch for me and has helped me a lot. So I wanted to stay on uh, the routine this week of going to the gym at least four times. And I want to over communicate with Ashley this week. I'm going to make sure there's five questions that I'll share with you guys uh, next time that my friend shared with me that are super helpful for relationship or just anybody. I mean, it could be whether you're in a relationship or with friends. Um, with family family, anybody. So we'll go over those uh, next week, but I'm going to ask you those five questions every single morning. So Yay. <laughs> we'll go from there. <laughs> See you guys next week. Bye.